Hey, good morning, YouTube. What do these three, uh, three things have in common? Well, yes, they all control TVs and electronic devices, but that's not really it. It's more along the lines of things that the shop dog loves to try and steal and run around with. So, in the house, we have to start hiding the remotes everywhere. And he doesn't chew on them, he just likes to run around, grab them, and change the channel. Bit of an odd dog that way. So, I had uh, milled up some uh, of the big uh, posts. I was going to do a project with the uh, termite. She's opted not to do the project uh, as per the fickleness of a pre-teenage girl mind. Things have changed. So, I have all this nice <laughs> stuff milled up and sized and done up beautifully. And nothing to do with it. So, we're going to build a box or some remotes here. Um, I'm just trying to get some sizing figured out, get some uh, wood cut, and then I'll kind of go through what I'm going to design and how I'm going to do it as we move along. Alrighty, so I got the tops and bottoms milled. Uh, the bottoms will have the bigger knots and defects. The tops will have the ones with the less. I'm just going to rip these down so two fit in it fairly easily. I also got to figure in, I got to get a hand in there, so... I'm going to leave a little space so I can move things around and get my fingers in there. So I'll just mill off maybe a, uh, an inch or so of this. And uh, then I'll use this for the sides. I'll double up this uh, on the back with a little, I guess a little lip. And that'll be for holding uh, two hinges. And that should be good. Now let's work through this. All right, this is where it's at so far. I'm gonna do an inset lid, uh, so that it's not gonna be easy for certain puppies to bop their nose and flip open the lid. Uh, I got about the right depth, so it's not gonna to be too obtrusive. Uh, a little bit of glue and a few pin nails, holding it all together. Probably put a few more pin nails in there. So that's number one, I'm gonna let that dry and then I'll come back and uh, we'll do the sides, cut them out, put them on. Then I'll start working on the back and the lid. So, eh, bit by bit. Good afternoon, wood butchers. Uh, uh, okay, project's finished. I really kind of didn't go through much of my thought process because it was kind of just a butcher something together quick to keep the shop dog out of the remotes. So what I did was I created a little notch here. Trace that out, a little bit of Dremel work. That opens up the lid. Just simple hinge lid. I did the box with, uh, you know, just little standard butt joints and everything. Uh, I did reinforce the front corners here uh, with uh, some little curved pieces I did on the spindle sander. That's just to keep the box lid, you know, at the right height. Um, at the back here, I had to double it up to uh, mount the hinges. I haven't even sanded it. It's going to go into service immediately. I might hit it with a little bit of sandpaper here and there, but I'm not going to finish it either. I'm just going to leave it as is because I'm sure the shop dog's going to eat it or chew it or whatever he's going to do with it. Anyways, one quick little project, simple and easy. And knock this out probably in, I don't know, total time, maybe hour, hour and a half. Most of it was sitting there thinking how I'm going to do stuff. I made another one for the bedroom. Uh, I mounted the hinges. Uh, in a recessed mortise here with just the uh, barrel hanging out. It looks a little bit better, but the problem is that took me like way more time and I really didn't care. Uh, I just needed something up in service so real quick. Have a good day, everybody.